You're watching Option Model and Media's YouTube channel. If you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe by clicking right here. This is Tiffany, one of our models here at Option. Today we're going to be doing a makeup look on her to go over what you would do for a go-see or casting. So it's going to be really light, really minimal, fresh. Um, the casting person wants to see you, not your makeup. Okay, so we're gonna start with the complexion. This is Max Face and Body Foundation. It's just a really, really sheer coverage. We're just gonna work this into the skin with a brush. Not going for a lot of coverage, we just wanna even out any redness, any little imperfections. So the next thing we wanna do is go in and just lightly conceal any little areas of redness that are still showing through. So, side of the nose, a common place for that. And this is the Max Studio Finish Concealer. It's on very thin way. A tiny bit underneath the eyes. Just to take away any little bit of shadowing around the eye area. So next we're gonna do a little bit of cream blush. Choosing a cream for the texture more than anything else, powders can look a little artificial on the skin. So we're just working this into that foundation. I like to apply with my fingertip first, and then go back in with the brush that still has a little bit of your foundation left on it, and just put it in. We just want that look like someone just pinched your cheek. I'm gonna do a little tiny bit of powdering don't want to powder the whole face, we want to keep the cheeks looking really nice and dewy. So I'm going to use a small brush and just a translucent powder and we're just going to dust down the T-zone. Side of the nose. Chin. Just a tiny bit of underneath the eye just to knock back a little bit of that shine in the concealer. Moving on to eyes, we're gonna keep this really simple. I'm just gonna do a light cream shadow on the lid just to brighten a little bit. So I'm going to this will just even out the tone of the lid, take away any darkness or redness. And I like cream shadows because they're extremely easy to use. You can really put them on with your fingertips if you prefer, and they're very crease proof. So we're going to do really light mascara. Go ahead and look down for me. Um, no clumpy spider lashes. You just want to enhance it there. Okay, so on to brows. So we want to keep the brows as natural as we possibly can, which is amazing, amazing brows. So all we want to do really is fill in any little holes that are showing through. So I'm using kind of a soft gray so that we don't get too much depth in the brow. Just even it out. And I like to keep the front part of the brow a little bit lighter than the end because this gets too blocky and intense. It just looks a little artificial. So kind of start from midway, work towards the end, and then go back and fill in the tiny bit through the front. So for lips, we're just gonna do a really sheer tinted lip balm. So this is almost like a chapstick with a little bit of color in it. It almost matches her lip. We're just and just to finish off, I'm just going to go over the top with a little bit of clear lip gloss just to add some shine. Okay, we're going to just do this. 
And there you have it.